As the nation mourns the loss of so many young lives, leaders from the president on down are calling on mental health experts to speak up about what is needed to treat those suffering from mental illness. Pam Elliott continues our team coverage with some of the help that's available right now. Members of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, known as NAMI, are quick to point out that we are still learning about the health of the gunman. But this coming weekend, NAMI state board members will join in a teleconference to compile questions and suggestions they can take to the governor to make sure that we are best serving the mentally ill in Ohio. Michelle Schaefer cautions us not to make blanket statements about the mentally ill. Schaefer oversees a program that serves hundreds of children a year who need help coping with the everyday. More than a dozen created this banner. We try to teach them when they're angry or when they have issues with other people how to deal with that appropriately and without using violence. Um, and we have to talk about the hard things like guns and, and violence in order to help them understand that um, the rules of society and how, um, how much we care for them and we want to see them succeed and how much um, we, would, we would like them to make positive choices. This is just one place people can turn South Community here in Kettering. The Chief of Recovery Services here tells me that there is more help available in Montgomery County than in other counties because of the human services levy in place here. I think Ohio and Ohio is doing better than a number of states, but I would like to see consistency of services available th throughout the counties. In addition to being Chief of Recovery Services at South Community, Lee Dunham serves on the State Board of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. He says there's an urgent need for housing. Homeless shelters are not the answer. But he's encouraged by Governor Kasich's commitment thus far. People need to know treatment works. People recover. NAMI says one out of four families in Ohio has someone with mental illness. And the group urges everyone to keep in mind that those who suffer from mental illness are more often the victims of violence than the perpetrators. Reporting live, Pam Elliott, 2 News. And if you or someone you know needs help, you can use this number anywhere in the state. It's a toll-free bridge line provided by the Ohio Department of Mental Health. The number 1-877-275-6364. You can use that number to get referrals and information about available help in your area.